again guys we want to thank you for joining us at one coin only this is the place where we attempt to play every classic arcade machine using only one play one credit and we're back at it again and this time we are playing a little something called metal slug i'm pretty sure you remember this game it's uh been remade and brought out in many different formats over the years but we're gonna go where it all began with the original and we're gonna see where we go and how long we last with one credit. Now it's been many years since I've played this so I don't know how I'm going to do. I roughly remember the buttons. For a game that came out over 20 years ago the graphics still hold up really well especially since independent games are very po uh, popular now with side scrollers and vertical shooters and all that. They're all coming back in and if you're an independent game developer that has limited resources but can make 16-bit games, this is definitely the standard. This is still just as fun as what I remembered. Cool. So in typical side-scroller fashion, there is a time limit. Um, I don't know how much of a factor it has in this game, but maybe it just encourages people not to waste time simply so other people can have a turn at playing the game and inserting their coins. There is a protocol you need to have with arcade games. And I feel so badass right now, this is awesome. Yeah buddy. I can't remember how to use this tank as we go along. Hopefully I'm invincible while I'm in it, I can't remember. Cool. Uh, I've noticed you collect fuel as you go along, but I can't see a fuel bar anywhere. If someone can point out to where I'm not looking or what I'm missing, by all means let me know in the comments. Maybe the fuel's just points. I have no idea. Right now I am absolutely kicking ass. Definitely another game I'm going to play a little bit more once this challenge is over. You're welcome. They're so grateful, aren't they? Aren't they polite guys? Okay. Boss time now by the looks of it. Get this over and done with pretty easily by the looks of it. I've got to get out of there. I don't have the tank, so I better not take this for granted. Oh, jeez, I might not even beat the boss at this rate. No, we good. We good, everybody. Now, this is, to be honest, is actually the only metal uh, slug game I've played, but as I said earlier in the video, there is a whole pile of them. Uh, so, by all means, you know messages and let us know which ones are best, what other metal game, uh, metal slug games rather you'd like us to try. It doesn't just have to be the original. As I said, we aim to play every single arcade game that came out before the year 2000. I'll just take a skill jump. Oh! I don't know if you can get like a one-up after... I hate it when games don't offer you an incentive for getting a high score, like an extra life. I don't know if this is one of those games. Probably... The thing is, I've probably never lasted long enough to have the opportunity to earn an extra life. But in the older games, especially in the 80s, certainly it was a lot easier to get that one-up. Jeez, 
the, the prisoners are so polite. This millennial generation really needs to learn a lesson or two. Like, these prisoners are doing it tough, and yet they're still saying thank you, and they're so grateful. And then some of you guys with your first world problems are complaining all the time. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Just talking shit, guys. Oh, I guess that was karma. Hey, game over. But in all seriousness, guys, we thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what we do, please subscribe. And by all means, get involved. Leave, leave your scores, screenshots, videos yourself. And we'll see you next time.